Hey guys, Brian delivered you the goods here, and damn, this screen is so big. Uh, I'm returning to you today for, uh, well, songs that were good but didn't make the year end less than. I gotta say, the video quality on this is so much better on this phone. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas and all that. Uh, but yeah, I'm returning to you for the songs that were good but didn't make the year end less. So I'm going to talk from 1 to 18, uh, what songs that were on this list, because there's only 18 on the list, and let you know what I thought of each song. So let's start with Wiz Khalifa, Speed Me Up, featuring Lil Yachty, Ty Dolla Sign, and Swaco the Child, because I heard this at the beginning of the year, and I actually did like this one. Uh... Yeah, some of the slang in it was not great. Some of the raps were not as perfect. I think I gave it a 4.5 out of 5, this song. But I really did like this song a little bit. Um, some things with Lil Yachty singing the tippy toes, da 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 da, or whatever. I'm the tippy toes, I'm the da 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 da, or whatever. It. It was like mumbling a little bit, but it didn't sound that terrible. It actually made the song sound good, in my opinion. But you don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was hearing the song. But yeah, Swaco the Child didn't really have much of a rap in this uh, song. But uh, Ty Dolla Sign had a pretty solid uh, verse and all that. So, I really did like this song for what it was, and it made it at the number one spot. Not the number one spot, but it's the first song I mentioned. There's not going to be a 18 to 1 thing or whatever that I'm doing. It's just going to be from 1 to 18 that I'm mentioning. So, yeah. Uh, the first song I talked about was Wiz Khalifa, Speed Me Up. And I did like Speed Me Up. Uh, pretty much a lot because I was hearing that song on replay a lot when I was working earlier this year <laughs> um, The second song that I'm gonna mention is the plot in you repay. It's a really nice acoustic song. I really like that song um, and just the way uh, The lead singer singing the song it sounds like he's choking up while he's singing it, like he's getting a little emotional singing it. Uh, but it sounds really good. Um, I think I gave this like a 4.5 or a 5. I'm not sure. They're going to have a new album coming out next year. So I guess we only got this song. And it's been like 6 months since their last single came out. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, that's a little bit ago. <laughs> but... Yeah, I really enjoyed the Plot and Use song replay, repay, not replay, <laughs> sorry about that, but the replay value is really good on this song, so I definitely would check this song out if you haven't heard it by the Plot and You, so it's a song to definitely check out. The next song I'm going to talk about is Poppy, All the Things She Said, the tattoo cover. Uh, it was originally by a girl group that, by a girl duo group that made this song, uh, back in like the 2000s or whatever. So it's fairly, uh, a little old, but Poppy actually did a really good job on this song. I like the song, but some people thought it was a little ear grating. <laughs> but I'm just like, ah, if you mention that song in your worst songs of 2020, I'm not going to be that happy with you. <laughs> but everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Uh, but I enjoyed this song. I thought it was a good song. Uh, and the way Poppy's singing the, her high notes towards the, I guess, the chorus and the end of the choruses and all that. It sounds really good. So, yeah, number three, I mentioned 
Poppy, all the things she said. It's a pretty good song. I would highly recommend checking out the remake of it. Uh, the original is not too bad, too, but I wouldn't call it great. I think Poppy did a better job, but that's just my opinion. I know Tattoo's the original artist that made the song, but yeah. Uh, number four, we have Weezer with Hero. I never got to mention this on my year-end list, so I'm really sorry that I didn't. I just was so distracted by the other newer songs that I mentioned on my best songs of 2020 and all that stuff. Uh, but this was not a bad song. Uh, it was pretty good for what it was. Um, I heard the piano version of it before this song came out, like a few days before it came out. And it sounded pretty good. But, yeah. Um, Weezer's song, Hero, was actually not a bad track. I really enjoyed it. I definitely see myself listening to it more often. And, yeah. I like the way Rivers Como's uh, singing the song, Cuomo, or however you pronounce his last name. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend checking this song out. The album is coming out May 7th of next year, so hopefully it does. Unless COVID uh, or something delays it again. <laughs> Which I hope not. It got delayed all the way to May 7th of 2021 for Van Weezer. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely listen to that album for sure. Uh, number five, we have Tanaje with Rascal, Superstar. Well, parentheses, Superstar. Um, that was not a bad song. Um, I actually like her voice in some of the song. Not... Everything about it's great. It's not a bad track, but it's a good song for what it was. Uh, I wouldn't say it's not going to be for everyone. Not all the songs I listened to this year, because I listened to a lot of music this year. And I got to say, uh, Tanaje didn't do a bad job with this song. Uh, the way her vocal performance in it is, I think it's a little softer, but... It's been a few months since I've heard this song, like four or five months, but yeah, I didn't hate this song, so number five, I mentioned Tanaje with Rascal, parenthesis, Superstar. Number six, I'm going to mention Within Temptation, Entertain You. This was actually a pretty good song. I really liked it. I liked the way the chorus goes. And how uh, the lead singer is singing it. You'll have to remind me in the comment section below what her name is. Because it's been a little while. I think her name's Sharon, I believe. Because I tend to forget names. I remember faces. But yeah, I'm a visual kind of person. <laughs> so sorry about that. But I really did like uh, Within Temptations Entertain You song. It was really good. It was a banger. And the guy singing the Don't Be Mistaken, Your Bloody Time's Up, This Ain't No Game, We're Not Here to Entertain You. It was pretty catchy, and then it goes into a like a verse breakdown, which is really good. Before the verse comes up, the intro breakdown, I guess you could say, for the instruments and all that. So it sounds really good, and it's very... It's a very repetitive song to replay, <laughs> so it's really, I wouldn't say anything about it's repetitive, but in a bad way, I wouldn't say that, but in a good way, it's a great song to really jam out to. So yeah, number six, I mentioned Within Temptation, Entertain You. And number seven, I'm going to mention Pearl Jam with Get It Back. Uh, this is a pretty solid song wasn't their strongest. I did like Gigaton, the album. It's a pretty good album. I liked Pearl Jam's new album a lot. Um, there were some things that probably weren't so great about the album, like a few songs, but 
for gigaton, which that's what it's pronounced as. That's how you pronounce it. But yeah, Pearl Jam didn't do a bad job on their album back in March. Like late March it came out. But yeah, Pearl Jam Get It Back came out like, I think, August of this year sometime. Uh, so it's a few months old, but it's really worth checking out. I highly recommend you guys check this song out if you haven't heard it. And yeah, number seven, I mentioned Pearl Jam Get It Back. I do like the clean vocals in this song from the lead singer, uh, which I don't really follow per Pearl Jam as much, but I got into them like because of Gigaton. So I only listen to the new stuff. So, I don't mind the old stuff, but, yeah, I mostly listen to new albums and all that, so I get really busy doing that stuff. Um, number eight, I'm gonna mention the Veronicas, and then I gotta end this video. Uh, this was a good song. I really liked it. Um, the way that, uh, they're singing together, uh, the Veronicas... It sounds really good. Uh, it's called Biting My Tongue. Uh, I think I did say that. I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know if I said it right or not. Uh, but Veronica's Biting My Tongue was a pretty good song. Uh, not my personal favorite, but it made it on the songs that were good list. So that's not so bad. Um... And, yeah, just the way that they're both collabing and singing together. They're harmonizing with their voices pretty well. It sounds really good. And just, yeah, I really enjoyed this song. So, uh, it is a pop song, so you're not in for a really great song. But it's a solid track to start in the third quarter of 2020 and it came out July 3rd of 2020 just being technical I guess you could say <laughs> I'm gonna mention one more track um and then I will have to close out this video and come at you for part two of this video um the ninth song I'm gonna mention is Billie Eilish No Time to Die the theme song for the No Time to Die movie that is coming out next year, unfortunately, because <laughs> everything got delayed due to COVID, which I can understand why, because this pandemic really impacted this year a lot, and it really screwed this year up, uh, and just this year was not a good year due to the virus and all that, but yeah, Billie Eilish, No Time to Die. Her vocals, they are very soft. And it's a little hard to hear what she's singing some of, a, of the time. But it sounds really nice. Uh, I really like it. But then her voice raises up, gets risen up towards the end of the song. Where she uses her potential to raise her voice. Sorry if I jerked the phone a little bit. Uh, but... It sounds really nice, and I really like this song. Uh, I do see myself returning to this song a lot more, so yeah. Uh, number nine, I mentioned Billie Eilish, No Time to Die. I'm going to have to return to you for part two of the songs that were good but didn't make the year endless video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first part. Uh, I didn't think I'd have to end it here. Because I thought I could make longer videos. Because I do have enough phone space to do that. Uh, on this phone. But this is the video. This is the phone and the camera I'm going to use from now on. So I think you're going to be seeing better cam quality now. Because I just got a new phone yesterday. Or the other day I meant to say. Uh, Christmas Eve I got it. So I'm really happy that I got it. But thank you for watching songs that were good but didn't make the year endless part one video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you in part two very soon of songs that were good but didn't make the year endless video. 
So I'll see you in the next video.